Hey everybody, it's Mr. Jackson here. Today we're going to talk about hominids. Now, we learned in class earlier today that hominids are ancestors of early human beings. Today we're going to look at four different groups of hominids that appeared a long, long time ago and the differences and the similarities that they all have to each other. All right now, hopefully, well, all of you should be taking Cornell notes, so take this opportunity to get your paper straight, set it up properly. Let's begin. Now, the question that you want to ask yourself, what makes the hominids different? Well, there were four major groups of hominids that appeared in Africa uh, between 200,000 and 5 million years ago. So that's a really long time. The thing that you have to know is each group was more advanced than the last group that appeared. All right, so it's just like evolution. Every time a new group appears, they're able to do more things. They're capable of more. So we're going to take a look at these four groups. Let's go. Who is Australopithecus? All right, I know that's a long word. Let's say it together. Australopithecus. Australopithecus. All right. His name means southern ape. Now this was a hominid that appeared in Africa maybe four or five million years ago. All right. They stood upright and walked on two legs. They might have not stood completely upright, but they were bipeds, meaning that they walked on two legs. Now this hominid, his brain was pretty tiny. All right. It was a third of the size of yours. So. When you think about all the things that your brain allows you to do, just imagine if you had a brain that was one-third the size of your brain is now. You wouldn't be able to do too much. And that was the issue that Australopithecus had. But like I said, each hominid group, they were more evolved and they were better equipped as they came along. So let's look at the next group. Homo habilis. All right. Now, Homo habilis, his name means handyman. All right. And he was handy because he was the first hominid that used tools. Now, he used stone tools like these um, choppers, these stone choppers that he used to create, actually create different tools and maybe chop meat and separate meat from bone. All right. He appeared in Africa around 2.4 million, million years ago, so around 2.5 million years ago. He was able to do a little bit more. He was able to use these tools as a handyman because his brain was a little bit bigger than Australopithecus's brain. All right? But his brain was still small. His brain was still half the size of your brain. So... It looks like we still have some things to work out with the hominids. And as you can see, this is what his skull looked like. And this would be a representation of what he may have looked like. Alright. Let's keep it moving. Who's next? Homo erectus. Alright, now Homo erectus, his name means upright man. He was pretty special because he was the first hominid who stood almost completely upright all right pretty much almost like we do now he was also special because he learned to control fire all right now fire was when it was created naturally like maybe lightning struck a tree and created a small spark or a flame he learned to harness that flame and use it to cook his meat and actually he used it to protect himself from larger animals all right. He also used stone tools, but his tools were a little more refined. As you can see, the stone axe that Homo erectus would have used, it, it actually looks like it has been created to come to a point. The edges might be a little more sharp, so his tools are more refined. All right. And as you can see, even his appearance is starting to look more like a modern human being. All right. Now, Homo erectus, he was also a little bit smarter because he learned that 
with the changes and climate, he couldn't stay in Africa forever. So this is when you saw the migration of hominids to different places. Homo erectus, he migrated into Europe and parts of Asia. All right. Let's look at our last one. Homo sapien. All right. Now, Homo sapien, this is the group that all human beings today belong to. We are the same species. We are all Homo sapiens. Now, Homo sapien, his name means wise man. Now, he appeared in Africa about 200,000 years ago. All right. Now, I know 200,000 years ago is a long time, but he's actually the new kid on the block in terms of hominids. Now, he migrated all around the world. He's the one who made it possible for all of these different nationalities to be around today because as a hominid he migrated to every region of the earth except us Aus Australia except Antarctica because obviously it's far too cold to live in Antarctica all right but not only did he learn how to harness fire he actually learned how to create it and the tools that he used were not just stone, some of them were made out of bone, and they were a wide variety, and a lot of them were much more refined. Alright, let's see this tool, it looks like it has uh, serrated or jagged edges, so it looks like this is some sort of saw, and this is some sort of knife blade, it looks like, but he has a wide variety of tools that he used. Alright, Homo sapien was also the first hominid to develop a language. This was the first hominid that was actually able to speak, which was huge because, well, you'll see tomorrow. All right. So that's all of our four hominids. You have Austra, Australopithecus. We have Homo habilis. We also have Homo erectus. And we have Homo sapien. Alright. I hope that I've taught you something new today. Uh, I would like for you to please go into Edmodo and post a comment about something that you found interesting. If you had any questions, you could post those too. Uh, and just remember, if you have an insight, please share it. Because that's how we all learn, by working together. Alright. Thank you.